solve its system by the substitution method. Now, here we need to substitute uh, one of the variables. So, as we can see, y is equal to 2x. So, we can just easily substitute over there. Now, if x is equal to something, then you can just easily substitute the x. So, for this one, we have the y is equal to 2x. So, we can just substitute in the y. So, we have x is equal to 6. So, we will substitute the value of y is equal to 2x in place of your y. So, we have x plus instead of y, we will do 2x. Then, this is equal to 6. Then, collect like terms. So, this will be imaginary 1. So, we have 1x plus 2x is 3x is equal to 6. Then, divide 3 both sides. So, x is equal to 2. So, this is the answer for the x. Then, you substitute. We have y is equal to 2x. You substitute x is equal to 2. So, y is equal to 2. Multiply by this number. So, you have 2. So, we have y is equal to 4. So, meaning your solution will be 2, 4 for this problem. Now, the next thing is we will analyze this. So, we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 0. And x is equal to 3y. So, what we will do, we will work on this. So, we have x minus 3y is equal to 0. So, it's easy to add 3y both sides. Then, we will able to substitute that for x. So, plus 3y. So, we have x is equal to 3y. Now, we will substitute x is equal to 3y in our first equation. So, we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 0. Then, instead of x, we will substitute the uh, 3y. So, we will substitute this in the x. So, we have 3y. Then, plus 2y is equal to 0. So, 5 multiplied by 3 is 15y plus 2y is equal to 0. So, 15y plus 2y will be 17y is equal to 0. Divide by 17 both sides, so we have y is equal to 0. So, if the numerator is 0, then you can say the answer is 0 because how many 17 you get from 0 is nothing. So, then you substitute this in your uh, x is equal to 3y. So, substitute uh, the 0, so we have x is equal to 0. So, the solution is 0, 0 for this problem. Then next we have this. So, what we need to do is we need to work on both uh, the equation. But look, uh, if you will analyze this, this is 4y and this is 3y. Now, if we will subtract 3y on both sides, then we are able to say y is equal to something. And we will just move the 3x to the uh, right side. So, let's do it for that equation. So, we have 3x plus 4y is equal to x plus 3y plus 14. So, I will subtract 3y both sides. So, this will be... 3y minus 3y will be equal to 0. So, we have here 3x. 4y minus 3y will be 1y is equal to x plus 14. Now, after that, we need to move the 3x. So, we have minus 3x minus 3x. So, then... This will be cancelled. So, we have y or 1y is equal to x minus 3x will be negative 2x plus 14. So, then we can substitute this in our first equation. So, we have in the first equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 8 minus 2x. Then, I will substitute this. So, 2x minus 3. Then, substitute this in the... In place of y, so we have negative 2x plus 14. 
equal to 8 minus 2x. So then I will distribute the 3 in the inside the parentheses. So we have 2x. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 2x will be positive 6x. Negative 3 multiplied by positive 14. So that will be 14 multiplied by negative 3. So this is 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. Then carry 1. So we have 1 multiplied by 3 is 3 plus 1 is 42. So this will be minus 42. So or this one you can say 10 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 3. Then you add it. So this will be 30. This is 12. Add this together will be 42. So then we have 8 minus 2x. So now we just need to move the 42 on the other side of the equation and we're able to work on the uh, variable for x. So this one, we can say, uh, collect like terms, 2x plus 6x will be 8x minus 42 is equal to 8 minus 2x. So I will add 42 on both sides, so move the 42, so plus 42 plus 42 so we have this will be 0 so 8x will be 8 plus 42 is 50 minus 2x then you will add 2x on both sides to solve for x so this will be equal to this will be 0 so 2x plus uh, 8x plus 2x will be 10x is equal to 50. So then you divide 10 both sides. So you have x is equal to 5. So you're able to solve for x. Then you substitute from here the y equal to negative 2x plus 14. You substitute x is equal to 5. So we have y is equal to negative 2 multiplied by this, so which is 5. plus 14 so y is equal to negative 2 multiplied by 5 is negative 10 plus 14 negative 10 plus 14 will be equal to positive 4 so the solution is 5 4 for this problem now here I know you hate fractions but there's a way to solve it but we will do that later so we have y is equal to y right so then you have 1 half x plus 2 this is equal to 3 fourth x plus 7, the second equation. Then you don't like fractions, so we can get rid of the fraction. So the denominator is 2 and 4. So we have factors of 4 is 2 and 2, and factors of 2 is 2 and 1. So the common factor is uh, we have common 2. Then multiply by 2, so the most uh, greatest common denominator will be equal to 4. So then you need to multiply everything by 4. So multiply this by 4, multiply this by 4, multiply this by 4, multiply this by 4. So you're multiplying all terms by 4. So 4 divided by 2 will be 2, and 2, mul uh, two multiplied by 4 will be 8. Then this will be cancelled, so you have 3x, then 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. Then we will collect like terms, so we will subtract 8 both sides to solve for x. So this will be 0, so we have 2x equal to 3x plus 28 minus 8 is 20. Then you need to subtract 3x on both sides so we have this will be 0 so 2x minus 3x is negative 1x is equal to 20 divide by negative 1 both sides so we have x is equal to negative 20 then we will substitute this in one of our equations so let's use the first one which is 1 half x plus 2 you substitute your x value here so 
we will substitute for your x. So we have negative 20, then plus 2. So y is negative 20 over 2 plus 2. Negative 20 over 2 will be equal to negative 10 plus 2. So y is equal to negative 8. So this is how you solve the system by substitution.